I think the future is one for where the two million some odd apps in that app store will turn into a new setting for where we would want agents to do some of those jobs instead. So let me give you an example here. Say it's 11 p.m., I arrive on the West Coast at the Hilton, and I'm tired. I want a Diet Coke. My first line of thought is not, yeah, let me go to the App Store. Let me find the Hilton app. Let me download and install that. Let me set up a new account. Let me log into that account. Let me find the store. Let me add Diet Coke to the basket. Let me check out. Let me pull out my credit card. I died before I got that Diet Coke. What I want is just to have an Alexa in the room and scream, Diet Coke, please. And somehow, magically, it arrives in my room in five minutes. That's a much better interface. Whoever receives that, he's an agent. I think we can all imagine a future where that agent is an AI. At X.AI, we built a personal assistant that can schedule meetings. There is 10 billion formal meetings being set up in the US alone every year. And they're being set up by short of 90 million US knowledge workers. X.AI set out to create this intelligent agent that can schedule meetings, not as an app, not a plugin, not an extension, but as an agent. So that when you get a request which arrives in your inbox that asks, can we meet up for a chat come early next week? You can simply reply back to that request and say, yeah, I'm up for that. I have CC'd Amy at x.ai. Then she will take over from there. Now, I know this is a machine, and I don't need to thank the machine for the machine to do better tomorrow. But we will have people email Amy or Andrew saying, hey, Amy, thank you very much for setting up the meeting this week as I asked for. Why do these people email Amy? They are our customers who are paying us for a machine to do this for them. We've created an emotional connect between our software and the human being. And I think that will continue to exist on other agents as well.